Alrighty, well today we're going to prune our tomato plants. Um, I believe they've been here for what, two, three weeks? And um, I'm making a decision on some of these plants. I've got double planting and we need to get rid of one of the plants and also prune them. So I'm going to show you what we do and how I do this. So what I want you to do from up top, hopefully you can see this. Okay, there is two plants here. You've got this one right here. And then there's one more down below it. Okay. This one here looks nice and green. This one here is just a tinge lighter green. It's not quite the same. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and clip the one that's a lighter green. But we're also going to go ahead and prune these. And also, you see how the leaves have fallen down closer to a trunk? I'm actually going to rake some of that out of there. So that um, I just don't, I don't want no mulch hanging around the plant. If that's wet, it gets on the stem. It can cause any kind of fungus getting into your tree. So let me get into this pruning. I'm going to try to zoom you in so you can see it. All right, I'm laying on the ground. Let me get my little clippers. And first thing I'm going to go ahead and do is I am going to clip one of my plants and be done with it we're done all right hard choice i hate cutting extra tomato plants but we had two seeds per pot and we just don't want them to take all that nutrients from there so what we're going to do now is down here you can see new growth my camera's not on a tripod but we're cutting them off they're gone I'm actually going to go ahead and cut this one off. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is, our goal is our whole growing season on our tomato plants. We prefer not to have none of these leaves hit the ground. And so usually by the time we're you know, getting tomato plants, my lowest leaf is pro or limb is probably somewhere in this area this high uh, so we're going to allow this to grow and get bigger and we'll keep um you know trimming these up as time goes i'm going to move these leaves away from the plant we do not want leaves hitting it because that could promote any kind of a mold um, fungus any of that we want to keep that away there we go and we'll have to go get it every once in a while. But there's that. That's how I trim these. Let's get rid of that. All right. Let me roll over and let's check out this other one right beside me. And there's little mini. I'm holding the camera here. We're getting close. I'm going to take a decision on which two I want. Or which one do I want. They're side by side. They kind of look about the same. Uh, this one here, this one back here in the back looks just a little bit different. So we're going to go ahead and cut this back one off right here. So let me get my cutters. And we're going to cut that back one. Remember I told you before in another video, don't pull your tomato plants out because you could ruin the root system. Just clip them and they'll be fine. So we've got that, and I try not to clip, not to tear my roots off my plants. I try to do a complete cut. There we go. So for now, we're going to leave that one alone. No more trimming it. Let's move all this leaves away. Find my cutters. All right. I should be good enough for now. I'm twisting you guys. Oh, we got a leaf back here. We got a limb. Let me cut that off. I just seen it. Here we go. Ah, lousy cameras, huh? All right, so there's that for now. I got 12 more to do. I'll bring you what I'm done. But as things get going, when they get older also, if you find little growth between here and here you want to 
pluck them out. Right now we don't have nothing going on. So that all looks good. So let me continue. I'm going to go over here and get the rest of these all done. Alright, I'm going to do one more plant. Here's a good one too. We've got two tomato plants right down here. And I gotta make a decision on which one that I want to clip. Um, let's see. This one here, to the left, seems to have more growth than the one to the right. I think. Yeah, I like the one to the left better. So I'm gonna clip the left plant, and it's gonna be gone. Here we go. She is out of here. Now, guys, I know you were thinking, well, why didn't I take, separate them earlier? If you can tell, the plants are only about a half inch apart. And that's just what we had have going on. So I didn't want to try to, I didn't want to attempt to ruin the plant. There's another back here. A limb we're going to trim. I'm going to trim that one. All right, we're done with trimming. Now we're just going to remove all these leaves again from this plant. Just get them away. Yeah, we got a little, little growth right there. As to every day, every you know, once a week, I'll come around and move the leaves out. But you can see what's on the plant. How good they're looking. They're looking nice and strong. They're really green. Uh, they look healthy. So we should be good for now. All right, let me get going on the rest. All right. You can see how they, uh, they're looking. I got them all trimmed up. Over there, here. Uh, I know this plant, that plant, that plant. You know, I think that one over there had doubles in it. But you see, they're all singles now. I've got them all trimmed up. So nothing low, no water splashing on the leaves from the ground will allow any kind of a fungus to get on it. I will say another month that I'll be uh, fertilizing and uh, trimming again. There we go. They're all looking good. This is looking really good. Cool. Alright guys, give you a quick little look around here. I think that one over there is a cherry tomato. I think along with that one right over there. I think I have two cherry tomato plants in here. I knew I was going to have them, I just didn't know where they were. Alright, well, we are done with the uh, pruning the tomato plants got a whole bunch more projects going on and we'll go from here all right guys we're gonna roll thank you very much and uh thanks for watching you'll have a great day okay